Thank you, uh, President, Commissioner, uh, Minister. Uh, this uh, debate feels a little, li a little like Groundhog Day. Uh, we've heard it discussed so many times. However, I welcome Minister Crichton's reassurance in her contribution that Council understands the priorities of the European Parliament. Uh, I speak for my colleagues when I say that we realise the European budget must reflect the real financial pain that all our citizens are suffering today as a result of the financial crisis across Europe. And we are prepared to accept a smaller budget, but the quid pro quo must be, firstly, greater flexibility to switch money between headings and roll over under underspends at the end of the year. That will allow us to spend a smaller budget more effectively and more efficiently. Secondly, a proper mid-term review of the budget in 2017, when hopefully economic times are improving. There is no national government around Europe or around the world that is setting a budget, an austerity budget, for seven years. We must have the opportunity to look at it again. And therefore, that, along with uh, the prioritisation of spending on uh, jobs and growth, are our main requirements and I hope that the Council will reflect on that before they come back to negotiate with us. Thank you.